The biggest shake-up to the nation's income tax system in decades is now just months away. From the 1st of July, Australians earning more than $45,000 a year will receive a tax cut, but there's still an argument over the fairness of the plan. As the cost of living drains family budgets, the prospect of a mid-year tax cut is a welcome one. The tax relief does help people. Help on the way as part of the last phase of a massive tax reform plan legislated by the former Morrison government and left unchanged by Labor. Stage three aimed at tackling so-called bracket creep. It's so important at a time when inflation is stealing from people's pockets that some of that go back into Australians' pockets. From July 1, the 37% tax bracket will be abolished and anyone earning between $45,000 and $200,000 a year will pay the same tax rate of 30%, costing the budget $308 billion over a decade. It does mean a somewhat simpler tax system, but it also means that it does introduce a little bit more unfairness in the system. The more you earn, the bigger the tax cut you'll receive. Workers on a $200,000 salary in line for a $9,000 benefit. If you earn $120,000, you'll get $2,000 back, just over $1,000 if you're on a $90,000 income, but those on $45,000 or less will get nothing. Stage one and two of the tax cuts were targeted at people on low incomes. Despite some calls for changes, it appears all but certain the Albanese government will hold firm on its election commitment to deliver the Stage 3 tax cuts in full. Also fulfilling a pledge to combat income inequality for women, next month companies with more than 100 workers will be forced to publish their gender pay gaps online. It's about $26,000 a year that women get paid less than men and we don't think that's fair.